hello, my name is Juan Antonio Rodriguez. Uh, I come from Spain. I work as a postdoctoral researcher in the Center for Evolutionary Hologenomics at the Globe Institute. Hologenomics to me is trying to have a more integrative perspective of what we are and, and who we are and actually how do we get here. So I find it very, uh, very exciting to know and to realize that we have whole communities of, of, of microorganisms that interact with us that and, and, and that we need each other each other to live. So yeah, we are, I'm really happy now to have the chance of working with this kind of, of approaches to, to solve um, a lot of ecological problems and human problems if possible. So my background is not actually into hologenomics, but I come more from the field of populational genomics and um, yeah, and disease genomics, if we can say that. I started in the field because I wanted to have, a, just what I said, a, a more broad perspective about, for example, how do we get diseases and which is the main role of the, of the microorganisms in, in yeah, in the, in, the, in the diseases or or even if you want to put it that way, in, in any phenotype or which is the role. So I think that microbes and their relationship with us play a big part in this, in this, in this picture. So my, my main project is within the framework of, of a big European project. It's called Holofood, in where they are trying to look at uh, developing sustainable alternatives for, for food production, particularly for chicken and for salmon. And the main goal is to explore how these two uh, animals interact with their microbes and up to which point their nutrition, their health status is conditioned on the, on the microbe that they have. I am a, I think I am a person who likes who really likes challenges and enjoys solving uh, difficult things. I get really stimulated by that. And um, one of the challenges of my approach is that comparing the, the this all these epigenomes between individuals to see how they vary, how they could potentially affect the microbial status. Um, at the level of which I am looking at, this has not been uh, this has not been tested because I am looking at a particular, uh, at a, a very specific thing on the, on the, in an epigenomic context, which is how the genome folds within the, the, the nucleus. I think that is a very interesting project, something that has not been ever done before, or at least, that's, or at least uh, done in the way we are, we are doing it. So yeah, I'm really excited to, to, to look at this and to see if um, even, even developing new methods for to analyzing this kind of data and yeah, who knows. My study animal are chickens, are a quart of, of uh, like 10, 15 chickens, at least in the first pilot study, but we are aiming at, at expanding it more if we get uh, nice and beautiful results in our, yeah, in this test phase, so to speak. A fun fact about me, it's, a, it's particularly, um, uh, how to say it, like uh, if it was a, the, the, if it was my fate, but uh, my friends know that I love, uh, I love costumes, I love dressing as uh, funny, in, in, yeah, in funny disguises. Uh, in, at mostly any occasion. So for my PhD defense, for the party that was after PhD defense, they brought the costume to me and no wonder this costume was a chicken costume. So I dressed as a, as a chicken during my PhD defense. It was somehow premonitory of that I would be working as a postdoc in, in chickens, but they, of course, they didn't know. And yeah, so I enjoy a lot having fun with costumes. <laughs>